On my visit to Japan, I met up with a few locals at Shinjuku Nikume, and in one of our conversations, I asked, What are the popular dating apps in Japan? All of them mentioned Nine Monsters, and that became the inspiration of our next project. In this video, I'll be going through the UI UX design process and explain it by redesigning a dating app. Alright, for this discussion, we'll be using these five stages in the design process. But before we get started, let me introduce you to the app that we're redesigning. Uh, according to the App Store description, and I quote, Nine Monsters is a very unique gay social application originating in Japan with a central focus on the Asia Pacific. What makes it unique is its breeding feature. So how this works is you get assigned an attribute when you start using the app and it will change according to the people you interact with. It's very interesting, but it sounds complicated. <laughs> Let's do something simple for this project. So we'll redesign the profile page. First thing we need to do when starting a project is to know more. We need to know more about the users and the product that we're redesigning. This involves understanding what's working and what's not working for the users and for the business. We could either use qualitative research methods like survey questions to get a sense of our users' needs and pain points, or gather quantitative data through key metrics to assess user engagement and conversion rates. Since we're redesigning the profile page, if we want to know more about the users, we could track metrics like the amount of messages generated from the page, likes, and other interactions to understand the amount of engagement we have. From a business perspective, we could analyze which premium features are most successful in converting free users to paid subscribers. And since this is only a concept project, we don't have those metrics to start with. So for this stage, I'm going to do a competitive analysis. For our competitive analysis, we focus on some key players on the dating app space. So I first selected the Blue app, which is very popular in the Asian market, particularly in the East and Southeast Asia. Next, we have Hinge, which I selected for its interactive features and user experience. And then we have two location-based apps like Nine Monsters, so we have Surge and, of course, Grindr. When I'm doing a competitive analysis, I take screenshots of the apps and annotate them to identify effective strategies that our team could potentially apply. Keep in mind that there's no need to reinvent the wheel all the time because most problems have already been solved. What you need to do is assess whether the solution is useful in the context of your app. Say for example, Tinder swiping feature. It became iconic for a reason. It's intuitive and easy to understand. Swipe left means no, swipe right means yes. Instead of changing this completely just for the sake of being unique, it's much better to evaluate how these features can be adopted or improved upon based on the needs of your design. Take Hinge as an example, they kept the functionality of the swapping feature, but instead they turned it into buttons. They also made the images contain inside boxes so it doesn't take up the whole screen. This way I find myself swapping down the profile and engaging more with the content. So by understanding successful strategies from our competitors, hopefully we can create a unique and compelling user experience for the Nine Monsters app. Now that we have a better understanding of our users and product, it's time to define what we're trying to solve. So for this project, we could say that our goal is to create a profile view that encourages interaction between users and also increases engagement. This statement should help us anchor our decisions in the whole redesign process, so we need to emphasize features that facilitate user interaction and engagement. During this phase, you also list out all the features you need for the page. If you're part of a team, you're not doing this alone, so you could be working with other designers, project managers, and in some cases, developers, and together you will sort out this list and start prioritizing which features would have the highest impact based on your research and your goals. This approach would allow us to allocate resources more efficiently. The ideation phase includes brainstorming ideas, sketching design concepts, and creating user flows. The goal here is not to perfect the designs, but to explore. And based on what we know so far, here's the plan. Starting from the top, I envision the profile page to be larger, making the designs more visually appealing. The badges we have on the profile makes the app unique, so this is a very distinct feature. And I already like the placement of it, so we need to make sure to consider that for the new designs. As I mentioned earlier, our goal in this redesign is to increase user engagement, so I want to strategically place these action buttons by anchoring it at the bottom of the page. I think this will encourage users to interact with each other with less distractions. Last, we expand categories and reorganize sections to showcase the user's stats more effectively, enhancing the overall user experience. 
by challenging assumptions, experimenting with design ideas, and aligning each element with our overarching goal of boosting user engagement. Step by step, we are slowly reaching our goal of having a more compelling profile page redesign. The prototyping phase is where we transform our concepts into more tangible design. You can think of this as a bridge between ideation and implementation. With a solid plan in place, we can start working on our prototypes. In creating the prototypes for this app, I explored various design elements to optimize user experience. Drawing inspiration from other apps, I changed the position of the favorite icons to the top of the screen just to free up some space in the bottom navigation bar. I also tested multiple layouts for the user stats, and I think this is where I spent most of my time in, because sometimes the initial solution you have is really not the best one, especially when you see it on the screen, so it's also helpful to use the mirror view on the Figma app, so you could see how it would look like on an actual device. For the bottom navigation bar, I showed active and inactive states of the icons that also uses the pink color from our brand name. When I finished the designs, it felt like something was missing. The previous designs have this fun and vibrant vibe to it, and the redesign page just lost that. I added in emojis and more icons to make the designs feel more dynamic. Now that the designs are ready, it's time to put it to the test. Depending on your team structure, you may need to present the designs first to stakeholders and get approval. And once it's approved, you could share with a broader and more cross-functional team for more feedback. But the most important part of this phase is to get users to actually test your product. This way we could gather insights that will help us improve our designs. We didn't do the designs for the other pages, but if I were to test this page, I think it would be useful to show the profile page with other features for example, how the action buttons work and functions like editing the profile. Keep in mind that this page doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's part of an overall app experience. With this approach, we will gather more relevant feedback on the designs. But I want you to remember that designing an app is not always a linear process. You may find yourself going back and forth between prototyping and testing, but that doesn't mean you're doing a bad job. That's just how design works. Even after launching the designs, the process doesn't end there. You need to continue testing whether the solutions you created works and find ways to continually improve the product. And that's it. We've gone through the whole UI UX design process and I hope you find this video helpful. And if you're looking for more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.